hey guys how's it going welcome to this video if you guys haven't already please smash the like button please subscribe if you guys have any comments on this video please drop a comment in the comment section it might help somebody else out but let's just talk about this issue if you guys have this issue you guys probably have a check engine light on your dash your car could have been probably having some issues but that check engine light obviously is telling you that your car is having issues. Or, and um, if you guys know what this code is, there's a good chance you guys probably had an old BD2 scanner. You guys popped it in and this particular code came up. So let's talk about what this code is, how you guys can fix it, and what you guys can do as far as trying to diagnose, figure out, the problem, some of these, uh, the the some of these symptoms that's causing these issues, uh, could be symptoms of other things that might be related to this, uh, others not. But let's get to it. Let's talk about it and figure out what this problem is. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so we are going to do resets on your car's computer. It doesn't matter whether it's the ECU, ECM, TCM, any of their car's uh, control modules. We are going to uh, help you guys out to reset that. It doesn't really matter what make, what uh, specific cars you have. This will work on pretty much every single vehicle uh, that's out there. Here's what you guys need to know. All right, the ECU, the TCM, the, they're all computer modules that either control your engine, your transmission, uh, and, and those computers uh, these days are very pretty sophisticated. Um, the TCM itself actually, the TCM and your ECU, ECM, uh, they all pretty much have kind of adaptive driving and if you guys have some kind of issue funky issue stuff that's uh you guys have issues with the way your your engine is running maybe it's it's running with a little bit of uh issues as and and also with your shifting of your transmissions and stuff like that um the easiest way to probably correct that problem if the ECU or ECM is, or T, or if, if those modules are actually affecting uh, your, the way your vehicle runs, uh, the easiest way is to do a reset on those modules. And we're gonna go through different ways to do it. Most of these, uh, most of these resets, you guys really don't need a tool for it. And uh, if you actually need a tool for it, they're pretty cheap out. They're pretty cheap. So let's just go down the list of what you can do as far as resetting your ECU, your, your ECM, your TCM, your transmission control module, any computer module that you have for your vehicle. I'm sure there's a couple more um, out as in, in, in new cars these days. But here's... We're going to go down the list of things that you guys can do the easiest uh, to. All these are pretty easy. Trust me, all right? All right. So the first thing that you guys want to do, all right, the first reset is go to your battery. You could take the negative cable off the battery and, and keep it off for about a minute. Then put it back on the battery. And then turn your car on, see if your check engine light is off. Most of the time, if you guys have this issue, these issues with your ECU, your ECM, TCM, you do, you would have a check engine light. But I've noticed that a lot of new cars these days, they have these issues, but they don't have a check engine light. And those issues are pretty much slight issues, slight shifting issues, slight hard, hard shifting you're you might get a really really slight misfire but it's not enough of misfire to actually cause a check engine light i've seen that in a lot of uh newer cars but this method really works for uh older vehicles uh 2012 and 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 vehicles previous to that on a newer vehicles it might work it might not work but it's definitely 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 worth a try now a lot of these vehicles do have auxiliary 
uh, batteries. Now, if you guys have an auxiliary battery in your vehicle, you definitely want to disconnect the auxiliary battery because their auxiliary battery is going to save all that information in uh, in any of your car's uh, ECU, ECM, TCU, TCM, all those modules. All right. Now, if you guys want to take it one step further with taking the cable off the battery and training your car entirely, what you might want to do is take the positive battery off, take the, pos the positive cable off, take the ne negative cable off, and essentially uh, connect them together. Connect them together, take a zip tie, connect them together for about five, six minutes. That will drain all the charge from your car system and then put it back on and then that might actually uh help more if the original version the, the original way to do it didn't all right so that's the first thing you guys can do second thing you guys can do is you guys can look for the ecu fuse the ecm fuse the ctcm fuse it kind of depends on your car's fuse box configuration. Uh, most vehicles do have a fuse for those modules. Most A lot of vehicles actually have three fuses, three or four fuses for each of those modules. You might have to check out exactly where those fuses are and pretty much take those fuses out. All right, and take those fuses out for maybe uh, a couple of minutes and then pop them back on. Now, it... It could also be if you guys have issues with your vehicle that um, one of those ECM, TCM fuses, ECU fuses are blown. Now, if they're blown, obviously, it's going to cause an issue. What you guys want to do is you guys want to change out those fuses, pop them back in so that they all work. And, and hopefully that actually um, takes care of your problem. All right, let's move on to other ways that you guys can actually reset your car's ECU, ECM. Um, all those modules, you guys can get an OBD2 scanner, all right? What you guys can do, if you guys don't know what an OBD2 scanner is, it's an OBD2 scanner. It uh, Most cars after 1996, I believe, have, have an OBD2 socket. A lot of times, it'll be under your... Uh, the steering wheel sometimes it's under sometimes it's around the uh, center console um, it kind of depends on your vehicle um, what you guys can do is you guys can buy a cheap OBD2 scanner and this will work the same way that it works with uh, the you know pulling the, the cables off the battery um, I believe Walmart sells one for 19 to 50 bucks Nineteen dollars, and uh, they have others for like thirty and fifty bucks. You guys can get them from Amazon too. Plug it in; it'll scan your system. If you guys have check engine light codes, those codes will come up. Uh, most of these scanners, I believe ninety nine percent to one hundred percent of these scanners, will actually allow you to erase the codes from your car's computer and clear out the whole entire ECM, ECM, TCM, all that. Most of the time, particularly in newer vehicles, if you guys do any race of the code, the vehicle, your vehicle is going to drive just a little bit different, maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse. I notice, I've noticed that a lot of new vehicles, if you do an e-race with an OBD2 scanner, it erases all that computer adaptive driving whether that's you know there are your engines adaptive driving to you your transmissions adaptive driving to you all that stuff gets erased and it will take probably a couple of drive cycles for, for your car to drive normally again but if you guys do have issues with any of those modules it'll erase those issues as well so your car might drive better as a result of that. Obviously, if you guys have codes for specific uh, specific sensors and stuff like that, it'll erase all those codes as well. Aside from that, uh, those are pretty much the easiest way to do it. The hardest way to do it is you guys you guys could change the ECU, the ECM, 
Sometimes it's really expensive, sometimes it's really cheap, sometimes it's really easy. But um, to be honest with you, uh, since these computer modules are integral to the workings of the car, a lot of times they need to be programmed. And if you guys get a replacement module, if you guys get a new module from the dealership, obviously it's going to run you from $600,000 to $1,000. If you guys get one from eBay, you guys can pop it in. A lot of times those need to have be rewritten with your car's VIN number, stuff like that. That's really the 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 last resort if you have you guys have to do that. Um outside of that, that's pretty much the easiest way that you guys can do it. And uh, if you guys have other ways that you guys can, if you guys have, you guys think of other ways that you guys can do it. I don't think there's any out there that's as easy as the ways that I've um, explained it. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know um, whether this video has helped your car or your vehicle or not. And uh, if you found other ways to do it, if you guys want to contribute to this channel, leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Appreciate your time, guys. Take care.